Are you a go to Kunede? Go Sada. I want to check your BP. It's not painful. Significant and long-lasting benefits accrue from investing in the health and quality of life of women and children because they are the linchpin for a thriving society. According to recent data published by UNICEF 2022, approximately 800 women die every day from preventable causes related to pregnancy and childbirth. This ugly trend of pregnant women dying is rampant in most third world countries where the pang of poverty has made it difficult for them to access quality healthcare services. Nigeria having one of the highest contributions to the maternal mortality rate globally, it became pertinent for pregnant women to have access to free maternal health care services to drastically reduce the number of deaths associated with expectant mothers in the country. Maternal mortality in Nigeria is still on the high side, even children dying also. The reason is because many persons do not have access to free medical care. You know, Nigeria, we need proper medical care to keep everybody moving. What we are facing now is very healthy. Most of our doctors, nurses, most of them, they are living in the country because of the economy make down in this country is very poor. To help reduce these risks faced by women during pregnancies and address the daunting maternal mortality statistics in Nigeria, as a member of the 7th Nigerian Senate, Governor Arthur Ifanyo Koa sponsored the National Health Bill, which was signed into law as a vehicle to achieve universal health coverage, UHC. This move was to revolutionize the healthcare delivery system in the country. However, the pace nationally has been groggy. Governor Koa has been a partner in the health sector for so many years. He was the Senate Chairman on Health. He worked closely with the Federal Ministry of Health. So working with him to improve health outcomes in Delta is virtually just something you can say will happen. So it's no surprise the achievements he's been making. It takes a man who understands the workings of the health sector and what needs to be done for the health of the people to sponsor and actually drive that particular bill to the stage where it went through to being uh, elected as an act. And uh, if you know Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyakova very well, you know he's a man who is interested in the welfare of the people. And of course, that act is like seeing that they just live healthy. As you know, whether you're rich or poor, access to affordable and quality health since assumption of office as governor of Delta State, South South Nigeria in 2015 and in the past seven years, Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokoa has been on a steady journey to revolutionize health services. The sector has witnessed significant strides across the three senatorial districts of Delta State, especially in the reduction of maternal and neonatal mortality. He has invested in primary health care, and this is close to the people in the state. His investment in maternal and child health has reduced the maternal death indices and improved the prenatal health. What this means is that under five-year-olds are given free health care in Delta State and women who are pregnant get free health care. And we are hopeful that it would continue to improve the health of the people of Delta State. Beyond today, if he ascends to the post he's going to, and we believe that more people like him can help improve the health of uh, Nigerians. The truth is, we won't truly be able to appreciate what Okoa has done so far if we do not check back. In Delta State, the healthcare system has been progressive. There was an introduction of the contributory health system, which before now was just NHIS. National Health Insurance Scheme. And before you knew it, there was an expansion in the health system and healthcare in Delta State presently, from every assessment, even the blind man knows that it has become easy to assess. The collaborative efforts of the Ministry of Health and other public health agencies have remarkably improved access to quality health service across the state. With the establishment of the Delta State Contributory Health Insurance Commission in 2016, the state has been able to channel free medical supplies to pregnant women, lactating mothers, 
children under five and people with disabilities regardless of where they stay or live in the state. The contributory head scheme has done very well. They are pay setters and those of us working with UNICEF in ensuring that children, women and adolescents have access to health care is we want to use the model of the contributory health insurance scheme in Delta State. And I want to say this idea to many of our supported states. They've done very well. Credit should be given to Delta State government. Delta has believe in themselves and the government believes in the people. The contributory health scheme, which we will pray that everybody should subscribe to because it provides ready means of assessing health care and also getting a quality health care. Over 1 million residents of Delta State have enrolled approximately 20% of the estimated total population of the state. About 70% of the Delta State's Contributory Health Commission total enrollment comprises poor and vulnerable people under the equity plan of the Contributory Health Insurance Scheme. That uh, barrier of cost has been removed from them and you see them coming forth. You see them having a safe motherhood, safe delivery, and even extends to the under five. And the beauty of this uh, contributory health scheme and the free maternal program of Delta State, the free under five, is that it will even outlive the present government. Because of this, there is a wide coverage, and we are seeing the dividend, a drastic reduction in maternal mortality and survivor of under five children. So it's a very beautiful program. According to the latest surveillance and response reports launched by the State Minister of Health in the year 2022, the Okoa-led administration has shown optimism and walked the talk by putting in place a systematic approach that has helped in reducing maternal and prenatal mortality to the barest minimum. We will continue to carry out this advocacy on the need for people to key into these laudable healthcare policies. We will continue to advocate on the need for the people to access healthcare facility in these accredited healthcare facilities. So that the overall objectives of Governor Ifani Ato Okowa-led administration in the health sector will be brought to the fore. And that is to guarantee quality, affordable, and accessible healthcare in line with universal health coverage policy. At 5 a.m. on one fateful day, Smart Delta Media Team took a trip to some hospitals in the state to bring you real stories from real people. Our first port of call was Bomodi General Hospital, which lies on the Forcados River Bank and covers 11 communities in Delta South Senatorial District. Smart Delta. Most clients who access Bomodi General Hospital come from poor households. Income from petty trading activities is never enough to meet the family's needs for food shelter, education, and importantly, health care. Nelson Gottstein and Abede Philomena, whom we met at the hospital, are happy for the support with free health services and drugs, which is a massive benefit to their families. It's a good strategy because our economy now, there is no money. So because of this thing, some people, when they get pregnant, that is why they have this uh, mind of abortion and all those things. But when these things have been provided, they will be here for the nurses to take care of them. During childbirth, there is no loss of baby these days because this place is free now. They will keep the money for other things. The government is trying. We appreciate for all those things that they have been doing. I'm not from even this place. I came from other place, but it is because of the way they have been taking care of the pregnant women where that even make me to even still come to this family so that I will still have benefits. So the things we do here is free. The delivering is free. I've not done operation before, but I'm seeing people doing operation is also free then. The nurses are trying very well. I don't know for others, but as for me, I'm happy. The chief medical director told the Smart Delta Media team how much they shun extortion within the facilities. Take a listen. I will have a public complaint unit. But if uh, you have any matter of extortion, you can get over to the Arizona management, 
and uh, we deal with it. And for a very, very, very long time, we've never got such matters. The free maternal program, to be honest, it has done so much in terms of reducing maternal mortality. Very unlike before, the Delta State Government is paying the premium of the pregnant women and the under five children. The hospital need a large amount of fund compared to the previous regimes. And we are having more funding than ever before. Done with Bomodi, we made our way to Wari Central Hospital. On getting there, we met happy pregnant women clapping and singing as the health attendants lectured them on maintaining healthy lifestyles during pregnancy, managing stress and preparing for labor and delivery. Some people they don't get some better use even more better than that. Some people now they don't do plenty of abortion. Sometimes when we ask my dad, I mean abortion, they don't they say no, so you call me, which kind of question of that one? They ask you now. When they ask how many abortion you don't, they want to know whether you get at least now. But what are they want? We are here. Deltans and non-Deltans across the state are particularly grateful to the Oppo-led administration for tackling the cost of healthcare and delivering quality and tangible health services through the Contributory Health Insurance Scheme. This to a large extent has curbed the high rate of maternal and neonatal mortality to the barest minimum. Join us as we bring you more testimonies for your viewing pleasure. Akubweze Chidima, who had just put to bed, accompanied by her mother and husband, was a delight to behold. Chidima's mother could not contain her joy as she danced with the newborn baby girl, expressing how diligently the medical practitioners cared for her daughter during prenatal. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. This is my fourth grandbaby that God has given to me. You know, you know how I be at this level. <laughs> the state government should continue doing it for us because they are helping us a lot. Even when we pack down to Agbaru, she still have to come here for cleaning because of how good they are. So I'm so grateful for government helping us like this. Chidima's husband, Orode Arnold, was thrilled too that there has been very positive impact on the health of mothers and their newborns and appreciated Governor Fanyokoa for sustaining the health insurance scheme. I'm so excited. My wife, at least, with God and the doctors and everything in this hospital, trust me, whenever I'm coming here, I'm always relaxed. And I have nothing to be scared of. In fact, okay, I really appreciate first of all that they should keep it up. It's a at least when government is in place, the people should feel it. This aspect, at least I can testify to it that we are feeling it. I got registered at seven months, so they've been taking care of me. They give us free drugs. Then I'm coming here, it was free. I didn't pay for anything. I just got my necessary things, which are those normal things they say we should get, but the rest things, I think my husband didn't pay a dime. I thank God for safe delivery. This is my third baby, and I've given birth to all my children in this hospital. And I will tell you something, that free maternal care, I am so grateful for it. Our quest for more stories landed us at the pediatric ward, where we met with greatness on Nome who was hospitalized for weeks and is under close supervision by the hospital management and responding to treatment. The mother throws more lights on their experience. When we went for the scan, said is um, TBM injuries. We have been here for like uh, five weeks now. When we came, he was unconscious. He can't move his hand, doesn't feel pain. He just like that, except the breathing. That's how we know he's still there. But now if you touch him, he raises his hand. When he's hungry, we know he feels pains. It's getting better. How many weeks we have been here, they have been giving us free things. We don't pay for anything. The treatment is good. Doctors, the nurses, they are trying. 247, they are always there. 
Smart Delta. Wow. Bye bye. This one where you did smile like this. <laughs> Just got through communicating with my guys in the creeks. You know. I beg, speak pigeon for me. <laughs> Not that one that they understand. <laughs> They're very happy now, you know. Um, in those days now, they gonna need to come up from the creeks, travel go upland for them to receive um healthcare. But the day so happy said this Okoa government don't provide aid care for the creeks. Wow. And even now. Uh, Wait. Let me see. Wait till people wait they up land they enjoy. Now in the day they enjoy it. Yeah, that's what it means, of course. Leave English. Tell me story. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they don't reduce maternity and infant mortality. And also, those who are in the they did the equity plan, zero to five years, they know they pay for treatment as well as pregnant women. And even through DROF, they did receive free drugs. Hey, yeah. Now, be say, even the indigents, when we say they be medical practitioners, they could be very happy now because they could feel practice within their domain. <laughs> On point. May I not come from Delta, but I did stay Delta State. And I see the good works Governor Okowa they do in the work well well. Confirm. <laughs> Governor Okowa, Tannen Creeks to Urban. Smart Delta. It is worthy of mention that caesarean sections have been done for Delta and non-Delta women free of charge. For example, when the Smart Delta team visited Sapler Central Hospital, there was an ongoing caesarean section. Juliet Orerata, head of the theater department, tells us more. This morning, one patient was brought into the theater for caesarean section, booked by the gynecologist. The indication was pre presentation. A live male neonate was extracted. Baby is fine, it's okay. The baby has been taken to the ward for routine bed care. The mother is alive. The government has made it free for the patient. Even for caesarean section, it's free. Just like the women of Wari, we stumbled upon some pregnant women in the Sapele antenatal ward who told us they enjoy the fact that the scheme doesn't discriminate. The cheerful caregivers educated the Smart Delta crew on how a baby's umbilical cord should be nurtured. We use it to teach them. This is oh, okay. Because you some see? of them they don't have to take up the cord. Mm -hmm. So we to teach them the cord. Yes. And we to tell them when your pregnancy is almost nine, here yeah, we will be paying you. I'm from Ebony State, so I'm enjoying the treatment given to me in this data state. The first time I came here, they take my registering and nobody asks me where I'm from. And they don't ask for any money for any treatment given to me. That is why the governor may the Lord bless him and give him more grace to his able in Jesus' name. In fact, the governor is a wonderful father. He has really done much that no other governor has done. You can see most of the women they are having, even though CS, free, I mean, antenata, free CS, drugs free. I mean, he's the best governor so far we've ever had. They welcome this scheme. That is why we are having more than enough patients. Like today now, we have 170 patients that we have treated today. We send some to doctor, we attend to some. This scheme brought a lot of people who wouldn't have come to hospital to come to hospital to receive health care because they are no longer afraid of being. So for that, they have saved a lot of life. The Smart Delta team was not done. The feedback was so intriguing that we hunted for more information. In the riverine areas, the story is no different. Senator Ifan Yokoa's bold steps to mitigate the challenges of unforeseen healthcare situations against all odds affirm his unalloyed commitment to delivering the best healthcare in the state and the country. The place was really in a mess, but when Okowa brought us here, he came and renovated the place and we kicked off the work. They brought some hospital equipment for us to work with. After some time, the contributing health team came in with their certificate. The advent of Okowa government, he has really helped us. We have really seen the improvement in the life of the community. The death rate uh, incidence has already reduced. 
throughout our visits to these health facilities across the three senatorial districts in the state, the medical practitioners did not fail to applaud Governor Fanyokoa for paying their wages as and when due. Governor Koa has not owed us. Like I tell people every day, if you say salary wise, I say Governor Koa is somebody that has not owed. Even if he doesn't come on the 29th, he pays regularly. He's not owing anybody a dime. The Commissioner for Health also poses weight in gold by embarking on inspection tours from time to time with his team to health facilities, ensuring both the management and structures are top notch. We got from Bomadi through uh, Ueli to Aban, then um, Wari. Now it went well. We were able to see for ourselves the new projects on ground. We were also able to see for ourselves the situation in the day-to-day -day running of the affairs of the institutions. We noticed some gaps, which obviously we will see that the, the board attends to immediately. His Excellency is interested in filling the gaps where they live we replace. The Delta State's Contributory Insurance Scheme has attracted national awards and several accolades, both local and international, since its inception in 2016. The Committee of Chief Medical Directors and Medical Directors of Federal Tertiary Institutions in Nigeria, led by Professor Abubakar Awal, paid Governor Fanyo Koa a courtesy visit and conferred on him an award of excellence in healthcare delivery. happy with the progress. Yes, it's possible we could have done more. But we have over one million enrollees, particularly within the very vulnerable children under five and all our pregnant women. And the state government pays the premium for such services. We have become functional enough to be noticed to set the pace as a role model state in this country. I believe it's something that we can strongly look into nationally. His health policies are good. We've remarked that uh, he is also supporting our colleague at the Federal Medical Center in Asaba. In other places, it is not so. And the fact that he has also established a specialist hospital here, which will take off the burden of health care for a lot of the population, is quite impressive because the women and the children are the vulnerable group. So having them accessing health free is commendable. It was an award of honor. He's our colleague and we recognize the importance of his contribution to the development of healthcare, not only in Delta State, but in Nigeria as a whole. He was one of the first to start the contributory health scheme in Delta State, a model that other states are now coming to copy from. He was the one that sponsored the National Health Act that we're using now. As a governor, he does not discriminate between federal and state. He's been giving support to the Federal Medical Center Saba. And my colleagues find that amazing that a governor would support a federal facility to do so well. In the last seven years and a half of actualizing a more robust Delta, it is widely believed that it has been a season of limitless possibilities for advancement, primarily in the health sector. Governor Fanyokawa's sustainable strategies to reduce maternal and child mortality by eliminating financial barriers and strengthening the health system have not just put Delta State at the top of access to healthcare, but have successfully salvaged the unfortunate occurrence of mother and child mortality in Delta. The feedback segment. Question of the day. I want to thank the state government for the drugs they have been bringing for us, the pregnant women. But I want to still ask if the government can bring more drugs to the pregnant women since more people are getting to know about the insurance scheme. Thank you very much, Nelson Gustin, for that wonderful question. We know that uh, the awareness level uh, with respect to the Delta State Contributory Health Scheme is on the rise and therefore creating demand for healthcare. Government is also making concerted effort towards ensuring that the supply side of healthcare is addressed. We do not encourage nor allow out of stock in our various hospitals. 
However, um, the monitoring team is moving around to ensure that every hospital is compliant. Thanks again for bringing this to our notice. I want to urge all the attendants and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 0701337589 or send us a DM to all our social media platforms. You better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is the do you better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is the do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them cooler. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.